Hi folks, Paul Boland here and welcome to another issue of the Night Trek vlog. So today we are going to talk about we're going to talk about one game, we're going to talk about some artwork, and we're going to have another movie, folks. So let's dive in. We'll start with the game, folks. And the game today is Bounce. I am a huge fan of the game Lemmings. Now I'm not talking about the crappy finger pointing version that's available on iOS and Android devices at the moment. Um, that's Lemmings for babies folks because everything is in nice little blocks and you just gotta tap on the blocks to apply skills. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the real game of Lemmings. The pixel perfect game of Lemmings that was released on PC and I'm sure other platforms as well. This was real lemmings. This was a game of skill. You gotta think, how do you get these little guys home? That's lemmings. And I wanna see that franchise return. So as a huge fan of lemmings, I've always wanted to do a lemmings type game. But trying to make one in Fusion, Click Team Fusion was, it wasn't easy folks. Put simply, trying to get the pixel perfect interaction between a walking lemming and his environment I could never really nail it down satisfactorily. Hence, I made Bounce. Bounce takes the Lemmings concept, but it it puts a bounce in it. <laughs> Basically, instead of a bunch of Lemmings that walk along the environment, you've got a bunch of balls bouncing around the environment. And again, the concept is the same. They come out of one area, and you've got to get them to the home at the other area using a bunch of skills and equipment that you can assign to the environment and to them. I love this game. I think it turned out really well. I think it captures the Lemmings franchise to its core very well. Um, if you're a Lemmings fan or just a puzzle fan in general, I think you will very much enjoy Bounce. And again, Night Trek Productions freeware page, folks. Go check it out. Hope you enjoy it. So let's start diving into some artwork folks. I said I would cover every piece of artwork on the Night Trek Productions website as part of these videos and I haven't done so yet but today we're going to start and we're going to start with tree, the very first tree. Just in case you're wondering where these artwork images are on the Night Trek Productions website, go to www.nighttrek.com, click on Paul Boland up on the top menu and then click on creativity. And you will see all my artwork images. The very first piece of artwork I ever created, CGI 3D artwork, was called Warm War. At the time I was learning how to use my very first 3D package which was Caligari True Space. I used that software for a long time. I practically stuck with it until the company was bought out and the software went under. Warm War basically depicts a battle between two worms and one has won and one hasn't but the one that has won is about to lose as you can see I, I learned how to get a general feel for working in a 3D environment how to put shapes together how to create a complex object as in the shoe behind the worm and how to apply textures and stuff this was very very early CGI work, this was my first real 3D image and I think it turned out pretty good, it's, it's nice to look at it and see where it all began. After I created that and I had a taste for doing CGI work, um, I wanted to put that to use, I wanted to make a game and that's where the next image comes about which is called Hangar. Hangar depicts a spaceship, a shuttle docking into a hangar bay aboard a, a mothership. Um, believe it or not folks, this was going to be a computer game, but it never materialized, and I'll tell you why. Put simply, even though I had the skills to do 3D work at the time, and they were still in their infancy, I must admit, but even though I had those skills, I didn't have the computer to do it. Yes, I do have the computer that can do it, but doing animation work, it would take forever to render off that entire game. As a matter of fact folks, it would take nearly 20 years from the time I made Hangar up until I actually made, put those skills to use and made a 3D game. 
and that game was Dungeoneer, which we will be looking at in a later video. But Hangar was great, and it actually caused a bit of a stir. I released it onto the Click Team forums and announced that I was making this 3D game with Click Team. I think it was the Games Factory at the time, and it got a lot of people talking. Um, as I said, it led nowhere. The paperwork on how to make the game and stuff got shunted, it just got shelved. But um, then came along Dungeoneer, and all that paperwork was pulled back out and it was used. Dungeoneer, I have to admit, is one of my proudest pieces of software to this day. The next image we'll take a look at is called Xmas, and in an earlier video I did look at Xmas card. So if you downloaded that software and ran it and saw the images in it, this image here probably looks similar, and it really is. Uh, as a matter of fact, I created this image before I created Xmas card. This was my still learning process. I was learning how to work with reflections, which you can see in the ice. I was also putting in some snowflakes and stuff, which was all done manually. Every snowflake was positioned manually in the environment. This became more easier as time went on and I got a piece of software called Particle Illusions, which I will talk about in a future video. But these three images you've seen here, Worm War, Hangar and Xmas, were basically the start of my, I don't want to say career, because it's not really a career, but my, my love of CGI. This was the start of my love of CGI 3D art and animation. And it led eventually to Dungeoneer. And it's leading to something bigger, folks. Stay tuned. So, that's the artwork. That's the game. Let's talk about the movie this week. And again, we are still dealing with the movies. So, we have done Station Unknown. Enemy Unknown. And last week, we did The Stranger. So, to this week... We are looking at a movie called Dark Howls. I bought the premiere edition of the movies. And as such, I got some extra sets and I got some extra costumes that the regular normal edition of the game didn't get. And one of those costumes was a werewolf costume. I saw that and I knew I wanted to use it. But here's the thing, folks. I've mentioned as I've covered these movies made with the movies that I was hitting limitations with this software. Specific set locations, specific camera angles, specific actions. And this this movie collection here, Dark Hells, well, this brought the movies practically to an end for me, with one exception. So let me just tell you the story. When I made Dark Hells, I practically exhausted every set design every action, every piece of storytelling that I could do with the movies. Yes, there was other pieces that I haven't used and stuff, but I had done so many different things between Station Unknown, Enemy Unknown, and The Stranger. Um, there wasn't much left for me to do without repeating actions over and over again. And th This was a problem with the movies. I even wrote on the line head the movies forum and said instead of giving us sets with set actions give us the sets but give us an action maker let us specify that the actor stands here his head turns this way his hand goes like this you know give us control over the actors it never happened but while I was making Dark Hells there was word that an add-on pack was in the works they were releasing an, an add-on for the movies which would bring in some new sets, new action pieces, and some special effects. So, when I made Dark Howls, I practically abandoned the game until I got the add-on pack. And I will cover that, what happened when I got the add-on pack, next week. So, back to Dark Howls. Well, again, it's three stories, folks. It's a three-part story. I don't think I had any real issues with making this, except that the characters get older as the story progresses. Yeah, time does pass in the story, but they shouldn't really have got that old. And yes, the movies does have a sandbox mode, which would eliminate aging characters and quitting characters and dying characters and stuff like that. But in all my years of being a gamer, I have never been much of a fan of sandbox mode. I always like having a challenge. 
That's that's what drives me when I play a game. Imagine just having infinite money and doing whatever you want. I mean, that's that's boring. But if you've got a set amount of money and a set amount of time, and you've got to meet certain criteria, that's a challenge. That's what I like. So that was really the only issue. As for the story itself, I like it. I will admit there was once, there is one scene in it, which even people who view the kind of picked up on. Uh, I, I will highlight this scene now, I will tell you. There is a scene where uh, two werewolves are fighting and one of them has a dagger. This is what I'm talking about with in regards to a problem with the movies. You're stuck with set, set pieces, with set actions, with set props. I could eliminate the dagger from the hand, but the hand would still be like this, with nothing in it. It looked kind of stupid. Um, werewolves fighting with daggers, not great. But as I said, this was Dark Howls was the movie. Series. Dark Howls was the movie series that brought my use of the movies to an end until I got the add-on. Overall, it's a good story. It's quite interesting how it plays out. And yeah, I I like the set pieces. There's a lot of action in this one. Uh, there's some good fight scenes. But again, I exhausted all of them making this movie. So, just to give you a heads up, next week, when I do the vlog next week, I will be talking about the add-on pack that I bought for the movies, but I will, I will let you know now. That add-on pack, I bought it with great excitement, it added a lot of stuff to the movies, but next week's movies, which I will show in next week's vlog, actually mark the end of my use of the movies completely, even with the add-on pack, and I will tell you why next week. But for now folks, sit back, relax and watch Dark Hells. Until next week, bye. And he said, Mountain, Jeans, and Peas, I'm very good at him as well. But I didn't. And he was talking about the same. And he said, Mountain, Jeans, and Peas, I'm very good at him as well. But I
and it was Danny for the Brahmas and Danny, and it was just a woman's and Danny, and it was Danny for the Brahmas and Danny, and it was just a woman's and Danny, and it was Danny for the Brahmas and Danny, and it was just a woman's and Danny, and it was just a woman's and Danny, you know what I'm saying? And the dance the Brahmas and the dance of the the Brahmas and the the Brahmas and the the Brahmas and the
And he was talking about the percentage. And he said, balance and dreams and opinions. And he was talking about the percentage. And he said, balance and dreams and opinions. I better go in with the breath. This is all absent. This is all balance for that. This is all absent. This is all balance for that. This is all absent. This is all balance for that. This is all absent. This is all balance for that. This is all absent. This is all balance for that. This is all absent. This is all balance for that. And I'm saying, come on.
wide and Thank you. 